with y'all, favorite Texan here, old Pat. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all, to another Fever 20 player review. This time, yeah, this time, man, we have <laughs> a Barcelona Uruguayan striker, Luis Suarez. Liverpool man I want to give a big salute to my guy Jasper big salute to you man uh, you wanted this Suarez review and I'll be honest I've, I've never I don't think I've, even, I've ever used a Suarez card on FIFA um, and I'll tell you what you know how I kind of gauge reviews first of all it's got to be a card that I want to use but second off I kind of like I'm a big feedback guy right like I I Read every comment. I respond to every comment. See how y'all are feeling. I always pre appreciate the suggestions. Um, it's just kind of hard for me to review a card that only one person is requesting when there are other cards that several people have requested. Right? It's not really fair. So uh, Jasper wanted me to review, to review this card, and that comment got several thumbs up. So. That lets me know that there's interest in the card right on. So just for some clarity there in case anybody's wondering, but yeah, so Luis Suarez. <clears throat> Six foot high medium work rates. Right footer with the four star weak foot and three star skill moves right on. Okay. Like I said, man, as far as strikers, especially when you've got one that doesn't have the pace, right? Uh, Jasper made a great point, and he was like, he wanted me to review this card because he knows I've reviewed players like Harry Kane, and I love Dirty Harry, right? So when you've got a striker that isn't as quick on this game, the lower the defensive work rate, the better, right? Because they're not going to be tracking back as much. They are, they're going to be in the attacking third of the field most of the time, so they have less distance to cover right so he has high medium work rates not as great as low but not as bad as high high right on so what i'm gonna do with this car right off the gate oh this is a fresh car too <laughs> i really i just realized that just now I, I i bought this car on open bid trying to take as the least hit on like the tax when i go to resell this car i'm trying to take the least hit as possible uh, but I think I'm gonna be all right. I got him for 38k on open bid. I tried to snipe one, but I couldn't really get one. So I got him on 38k open bid. He's going for like a little bit over 40 uh, on bin right now on the market on the PS4 market. And I'm just now realizing that this is a fresh car, zero games play. So somebody just packed this car right on, which is awesome. Uh, you see, he's got the basic camp style on it. What I'm gonna do? What I this this is kind of behind the scenes stuff. What I'm gonna do? Right out the gate is 73 pace. I see that, okay? I see high, medium. In my head, stay forward, number one. That's the number one thing I'm gonna do on player instructions for my formation. He's gonna be on stay forward, right? Second thing I'm gonna do is bump up his pace because that's on face car stats. That's what he's lacking the most. Now, you know I love my cat. I'm a big cat, man. Love the Catalyst Kim style, but we might do something different, man. Uh, but we're definitely going to bump up his pace. But we're, what we're going to look for next is attack positioning. Because, again, when you have a striker primarily with lower pace, best case scenario, he's got a high-low work rate. But if not that, with the high-medium, keep him on stay forward. And with an attack position in high 80s to the 90s, it can make up some of the gap with the low pace. Trust me, trust me, don't just, I understand if you're just a big pace guy, then, you know, you're not interested in this car. I appreciate you still watching if you if you want to, but you're not gonna be interested in this car if you're a, a pace, pace, pace guy. But if you know the value on this game with cars that have excellent attack position in, then, then please keep watching. 92 attack positioning, okay. <laughs> I didn't look at the attribute details really, uh, to be honest. 92 attack positioning, fantastic. That's where my eyes went first. That's that's major. That's gonna make up. Y'all see in the highlight lights. 
Trust me, trust me. 86 strength with the 87 aggression. You love to see it, man. 92 reactions, 85 dribbling, 85 composure, 79 uh, agility and balance combination right there. 86 curve, 90 volleys, 88 shot power, and once again, the 73 pace. So, stamina is gonna be fine. On paper, it's gonna be fine with the 82 stamina. Stay forward, conservative interceptions. As far as the instructions, he should be fine. 91 finishing, fantastic, man. So we're gonna put on a Kim style to bump up that pace primarily. And then we're gonna get into this review, come on. I'm gonna put an old engine, put an engine on uh, Luis Suarez, man. We're gonna go that route with it. Bump the agility balance up some, a little bit of pace and, and some passing. We're gonna try them with that, y'all. I'm gonna try to make a video Soon, y'all, on my custom tactics. Y'all let me know if y'all would like to see that. Come on. Luis Suarez. Uh, let's see. Defensive support. We're going to put on stay forward. And interceptions. We're going to put conservative interceptions right on. Attacking runs. Uh, when I play with a quicker striker, I I have one on get him behind. I usually keep one on get him, get him behind, I, and, I, and the other one on like bounce or something like that. But we're since he with that pace, we're just gonna have him on a mixed attack. Should be fine. Anyway, let's get into this review, y'all. Oh, beautiful run! <laughs> oh, beautiful run, Suarez. I love that. Great finish too. Keeper had no chance, man. Beautiful goal. Oh, come on, come on, come on, man. We're just getting started, baby. <laughs> All right, next up. Christmas. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> oh. Yeah! <laughs> Great finish, Warriors! <laughs> Every time you score, man, I just want to bite something. <laughs> Old Tyson, <laughs> oh, that bite. <laughs> yeah, great vision. Back to Swords. Football. Ooh! What a save. What a save. What a freaking save. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, great finish, Flores. I love that. Little ball right there. First time across the goalie. That's a difficult shot, y'all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Great goal, great finish. I think my opponent's gone here, y'all. Great goal. <laughs> y'all, he makes some very, very dynamic runs, man. He, re he really, really does. <laughs> you get this card in a great position, man. Get the shot off. There's a good chance it's going to go in, man. It really is. <clears throat> think about this card, man. I'll tell y'all right now, like I said, he's similar to Dirty Harry as far as low pace, high attack position, and great finish and stuff like that. But I'll tell you what, Dirty Harry can turn quicker than this guy. This dude turns so freaking slow. <laughs> I mean, I got an engine Kim, Kim style on him, and he just turns slow. We're on here. We're on here. Yeah. Like I said, man, his attack position in it is, is fantastic. It's unbelievable. When you're using this card, you have to use him in that, like, that fashion right there. That's what he's best at. Making dynamic runs into the box and things like that. Taking a player off the dribble, trying to beat him with the skill move with this card. It's just, 
He, 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 he just turns. He turns too slow. He, he really does. Kicks out skill moves extremely slow. I mean, I've been trying to do some drag backs with him. It's just hard to open up space with this card. You gotta play him with like a, another dynamic striker. Beautiful Pele! <laughs> oh, he's been setting up. Oh, Tyson, man. He's been setting up Tyson right. This whole review, man. My goodness. Great finish for us. Y'all, man, this Louis Suarez card, he does a lot of things really well. Movement, top notch. Finishing, top notch. Composure is good enough. And shoot, I mean, he's a very, he's a technical shooter of the ball. Great stamina. And the strength aggression combo is fantastic on this card. Even though he's not over six feet with that strength and aggression, he can really hold his own. But let me tell you something, man. They rated this card 89. I wouldn't give him an 89 rating. If I was making this card and, and laid out just like this, I stamp an 87 on him. That's what I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him an 8.7. Because the thing about this Suarez is, man, unless you're like a, a Suarez fan, if you're building a team on a budget or something like that, 1,000%, man. This guy right here, for the coins, he's really good. Under 50K, 40 some odd K for this card on the market right now. Yeah, yeah, 1,000%. He's worth that. If I'm saying living up to an 89 rating, nah, man. He's at, it's like an 8.7-ish to me because with the engine Kim style, agility and balance is still, he, he turns like a truck. He turns like a truck. So that's that's a, that's a big con, man, because really with this card, you have to get him in great positions. He has to make his runs, which he does great at, but you're having to play the ball around, trying to wait for him to, or trigger his run, whatever, make his run, and then play a good enough ball to him into space where he can run onto it and usually hit it first time. So you're going to need a cam or a striker. I was playing him in the two strike uh, formation, four triple two. I don't want Pele. Pele was fine in him, but that's freaking Pele. You have a great cam with a great pass and something like that. You have to have something like that around him. If you play this guy in a single striker formation, he's probably not going to be successful because it's not like he can outrun the defense. The way that he finds himself open is his great attack position. He knows how to make intelligent runs, but that's the type of goals you're going to have to score with him. Like literally running onto the ball first time, maybe take you one touch, but if you were trying to take a defender, a center back off the dribble, especially one of these OP cars, I'm talking about like a, a Gomez, don't be a, a VVD or something like that. Ramos, uh, screen PK. You're not. You're not gonna get around anybody with this card, man. I, you know, I'm, just, I'm just being honest with you. But other than that, like I said, his pace, but primarily his agility balance. It doesn't feel. It feels worse, like than 79 to me. But other than that, man, very solid card. 8.7. If you don't mind the pace, you don't mind a player turning like a truck. Then right on, like for sure. Get this guy right here. Uh, I feel like in this stage of the game, it's going to be hard to do well with this card. But, you know, as far as making runs and stuff like that, and you can get, you find yourself uh, at a position outside the outside the yard box, something like that, where you can get the ball in space and you can get a touch off. If you can get the shot, here's the thing. If you can get the shot off, there's a good chance he's going to at least be on target because he's clinical. Clinical. But as far as turning, getting around somebody, doing the little the little subtle things that make a, a card great. Able to drag back the ball, open space up, space up, ball rolls here and there, like heel to heel, stuff like this. Just this little stuff that looks so good and opens up so much space, enough space to get a shot off. He can't do it for you, man. So I give this card an 8.7. Right on. Hope y'all enjoyed from you. Big salute, Jasper. Appreciate you reaching out to me, man. And like I said, that comment got several thumbs up, so I know y'all wanted to see this card. Um, it's your favorite Tyson here, man. More reviews coming real, real soon, man. I'm trying to get as many out as I can. I've got a few more lined up. Um, but like I said, if, if y'all, there's a card y'all want me to re review, I, I gauge 
I gauge reviews by how many times people mention it. If somebody mentions a card like Jasper did with this Suarez and it gets several thumbs up, I'm probably going to do it, man. I want to review cards that you want me to see. The thing about it is I'm not a full-time content creator. I've got a job, so there's only so many cards I can get to. It's I can't just, if somebody, one person, only one person wants me to review this card, it's just, it's, it's hard for me to get to. I hope y'all understand that, so. Anyway, talk to y'all real soon, man. Salute. God bless.